in here working on the airplane. I'm working on the Londrons back to the rudder post. I've got this mounted to this steel table so it can't move. And then this will be my piece that my top and bottom Londrons weld to and my rudder and tail wheel will go through that. The Londron tubes are curved. I run them through a tubing roller. When I do that, it takes away my ability to put it in my tubing notcher and notch it to go into this post here. So what I do is I get online and the website is Metal Geek and he's got a tube coping calculator on there. And you can see this is what you punch in. The neat thing about it is you can set it for an offset and it marks out your uh, lines all the way around your pipe. So what I do is I know my angle and I know what offset. So I have printed these out. There's a couple different spots on the airplane where these come in handy. And they just slide on, you mark around them. And then since this is thin wall, I can just use a regular pair of sheet metal snips to cut them. And then I sand them up and they're ready to go. So it really helps on these because I know they're the same every time and it all comes back here. So when it comes time to cut them, I can just slide those little templates on and you can see it gives you a really nice cut all the way around. And when I get it welded, I'll come back with a hammer and I'll flatten that in so I don't have as big a gap to weld in. And uh, I'll get these welded up and then the top is the same way. I've printed them out and then I laminate them with uh, just some clear packing tape on both sides because the tape is a lot thinner than laminating paper and I can get them to, to roll around the, the tube a lot better. So I've just, since I know what they are, I've printed several of them out and that way every time I get to this point, I know what my measurements are and I can just slide these on mark it around and cut them. So it saves a lot of time and it's easy, easy to repeat. So I'll go ahead and get these welded in place and then I'll do the top ones. So just wanted to show you that little trick. It's uh, metalgeek.com and uh, I'll put the website in the description down below so you guys can check it out and see if it helps you out any. So thanks for watching.